Hello, I'm Donald Leggett, and welcome to the latest London Southeast CEO interview. I'm joined today by Sean Bunn. He's the Managing Director at Empire Metals, an AIM listed exploration and resource development company. Empire have gold interests in Australia and Austria, and Empire Metals recently raised £1.7 million for resource drilling at the high grade Eclipse Gindalbe Gold Project. Greetings, Sean. So, Thank Empire you. are a fairly new. How are you today, Sean? Very well. Uh, now, Emperor are a fairly new name to me, so it's fantastic to have you on London South East. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Are you in Australia today, Sean? No, I'm actually in London today. I've, uh, we've come across uh, to, uh, to meet and greet and get the message out about Empire and where we're heading. Uh, fantastic. Hence the interview with us. That's right. We've, uh, we've arranged as much... Uh, you know, to, to get out and get the message out there. I think we're, you know, we're, we're not well known here at the moment. We don't think people are fully uh, across all the new assets that we've brought to the company. Well, we can certainly help you with that. That's for sure. Gold, gold and mining are one of the sectors that we specialize in. So uh, we're very happy to, uh, to do this interview with you. Okay, as, as you alluded to, Emperor was not so long ago focused on gold exploration and development in Georgia and Austria. And now it's Australia. So why gold in Australia? And I suppose, why the, why the, why the U-turn? Why well, the refocus? Yeah, it is a refocus. And I think it's really important to, to, to highlight the fact that the Australian mining industry is absolutely booming. And it, you know, it's a really uh, an amazing uh, uh, opportunity for Empire to move into an area that we know that the, you know, the mining jurisdiction, the laws, the legal situation, the environmental concerns, all those issues are well regulated. We're operating in an environment that, you know, you know, we are an exploration company, you know, first and foremost. And we're operating now in an environment that should we make a discovery, should we find the, uh, you know, these, these great resources that we think are going to be, uh, be available to us here in, in Australia, then we will have a clear pathway through to development. And I think that's, that's, a, a big reason for us having to move out of such jurisdictions as we, we found ourselves in Georgia and then previously in Austria, where, you know, these mining industries aren't well developed, they're not well understood. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of obstacles to, uh, to getting a new project up and running. Sean, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. Now, as I understand it, the 1.7 million recently raised was for high-grade gold resource drilling at Eclipse Gindalbi, which is uh, close to Kalgoorlie. Uh, Kalgoorlie in itself, very, very famous. So talk me through your plans there and what makes Eclipse Gindalbi so prospective. Tell us all. Well, the Eclipse project was our sort of beachhead to come back into Australia with. So we, we started there. It's our most advanced project. We've been drilling. We've, we've drilled well over uh, 10,000 metres of RC and diamond core. So... That project is moving well and it's moving ahead quite quickly now. We've, uh, we're back drilling there in the next couple of weeks. But I think really importantly, we've recently added onto it the Jindalbi tenement. Now that's an adjacent tenement. It tripled the size of the, uh, the exploration camp that we had available. And what it's meant to us is that we've now got well over 100 old you know, shafts, old gold shafts that were mined there at the previous uh, turn of the previous century. So we know there's high grade gold there. You know, the old timers were there uh, averaging about 20 to 24 grams a ton. We know that there's uh, shafts there that delivered up to 30,000 ounces over that period. So we, we're in the right spot for a high grade gold discovery. But presumably uh, you're using very much modern techniques. So tell me what exactly uh, you're doing and how you're, how you're doing your exploration there. Well, the challenge there was that these, uh, these old timers, if you like, found surface expressions and, and literally hand dug down, you know, maybe 50, 60 meters. But what we're finding is the majority of that gold load, that, that mineralization lies at depth and it lies along what we call these, these uh, shear zones. So they're, uh, they're like pipelines, they're like conduits between these, these shafts. And what we have to do is track those, get the orientation, make sure we've got the right uh, depth and, and literally, uh, you know, from the surface, we're drilling 200 meters down. So it's, uh, 
won't say it's like looking for the needle in the haystack, but we have to be very uh, technical about our approach. And that's what we've done. We've just finished the major diamond drilling program at Eclipse. We're really confident now that we've pinpointed the shear. And I think from here on in, we will start to add more high grade intercepts to that portfolio. So if what comes next, Sean, if what comes next then? Well, exactly. And I think this is the big shift in our focus. What we've done is we've moved away from what is a high grade, small, but high grade gold projects. And we've added three major exploration camps to the portfolio. And that's uh, that's the Pitfield, the Walton and the Staveley projects. And these are big copper gold scale. You know, these are, these are massive scale, uh, high quality assets that we now have in the portfolio. And um, uh, what stage of exploration are they all at? And what attracted you to each of them, Pitfield, Walton and Staveley? Well, the exciting thing is that these are all uh, you know, Greenfield's exploration, and that's what I think Empire needs to focus on. So what we're looking at here at Pitfield, there's three key points that, you know, it, it's an incredibly unique geological setting, uh, and, and it's related to the big copper belts of Zambia and into the north of the Patterson Range in Western Australia. This neo-protozoic era was where the big copper belts were, were first formed. And it's, it's a, an area that we know that was highly prospective because there's an old copper mine, you know, located adjacent to this lease. Finally, there's a, a world-class talc operation just to the, uh, to the east of us. Now, talc is formed by a massive alteration event. These big thermal fluids come up and they alter the material into this, this beautiful talc. But that same event, quite probably brought in along with other metals. So we're looking for the minerals and, and the metals like copper, gold in that region. I, I think it's a fantastic uh, opportunity for the company. And we're gonna start uh, work on that in the next few weeks. And uh, what exactly will you be doing there? It's an aero, uh, uh, literally a big magnetic server across the whole license. So we, we fly these, uh, these low, uh, low aircraft, one's a helicopter flight, where we pick up all the underground basement geology. So what we can do is reduce a very large area into a, a you know into a compact target. And you know companies like Mount Isa Mines, BHP, CRA have all explored this area. But that was 40, 50 years ago, you know before the advent of these new technologies. So we're super confident that we're going to identify a, a, you know an elephant, a target there that we can drill down on. And, and that's what's going to be happening there in the next few months. Now, we haven't talked about, is it Walton and Staveley? Uh, Walton, what, 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 what's happening with those two projects? Walton a, a, is a greenstone. It's in the Archean greenstone belts of, uh, of, the, of Western Australia. So it's a famous area, if you like. You talked about Kalgoorlie being famous. This is the Southern Cross region, just uh, a little to the west of Kalgoorlie. But there have been some uh, uh, very successful gold operations and, and base metal discoveries in that particular belt. Again, we think that we're on the cusp of something that could be a, uh, a, a base metal discovery, uh, certainly gold in the green stones, but also pegmatites, which uh, you know, possibly could lead to a lithium project. So we are, you know, we're really positive about the Walton project. However, you know, you mentioned Stavely. I, that quite possibly is the jewel in the crown. Um, you know, Stavely is in Victoria on the eastern coast. It's, it's in, a, in an arc, an old volcanic arc region. So there's lots of uh, volcanics and disruptions that occurred in that particular geological era. And we believe that's going to be a, an area highly prospective for copper. And we know, you know, just to highlight that, just to the south of our license area, uh, in 2019, uh, another one of our peers, actually called Stavely Minerals, you know, they hit a discovery hole, you know, 30 meters at 6% copper, you know, uh, you know, completely greenfield drilling exercise. So that changed that company completely overnight. I believe that we are sitting on exactly the same sort of geology, the same sort of horizon. So yeah, quite possibly uh, a major discovery uh, awaiting us there. Okay, that all sounds extremely exciting, I have to say. So um, how, would you, how would you imagine you, you fund the resource development? You know, there's a lot, lots of work uh, to do ahead of, ahead of you. Would you consider selling the Austrian licenses? 
The Austrian licenses, you know, again, was probably the foundation stone of the company when it first got going. And I think, you know, there's a, uh, there's inherent value was still within the old workings there in the Austrian Alps. Uh, certainly something that we're going to be looking at whether or not we continue to try and manage that as the fifth expiration camp, or do we offload, do we uh, do we sell that and uh, and continue purely to focus on these Australian assets? It's it's a it's a it's a question that we have to uh, you know answer you know soon i guess but what we're no hurry at all at the moment to rush out and just do a fire sale i mean we'll get value for those assets when the time is right good that also makes perfect sense uh, what can we expect in a few months sean what what's the news flow that's going to be coming out of uh, emperor metals well look we're on the ground i mean one of the advantages of, of i guess the team that i brought together in australia the fact that we've got long connections within the industry is we sort of we, you know we can manage and overcome this you know, shortfall of resources that is, you know, impacting across the world. You know, the, the mining industry, as I said, is booming, difficult to get drill rigs, difficult to get uh, exploration activities going. You know, we've managed to uh, to resolve all of that. We're starting drilling uh, on the 16th of June, and that'll be a, a, a high, you know, that's targeting all of our high grade uh, gold intercepts around uh, Jindalby and, and the Clips. Uh, we look forward to starting the uh, the aromatic surveys across the pitfield licenses, and then um, you know, moving forward towards the end of the year, we'll be on the ground at Walton and uh, and at Staveley. So uh, you know, a really, we, you know, we've got scale, we've got quality, and we've got the resources now. We're, we're well funded. Uh, you know, we've got at least the next two years of uh, exploration funding in the bank. We are literally going to put our heads down and just get going. Okay, uh, and perhaps my final question, you could pull together all those different strands for me uh, and explain whether, whether you're looking to build, a, whether you're looking to build a fantastic resource and then exit, you know, are you a pure explorer or do you want to become an explorer developer and ultimately do you know, a partnership and, and, you know, build a copper mine, build a gold mine, build a lithium mine? Uh, what, what, would, what would your, I'll let, take a holistic overview, what would your long-term strategy be? Well, the, certainly our first priority is to to get onto the ground on these new exploration assets. And as I said, once we get uh, a pinpoint drilling targets, we will drill. And that's that's where the value will come to the shareholders, you know, you know, almost immediately. So what we have to do is is get the value through the drill bit, get the discoveries, sit back, and then look at what we think we may have. Have we got a, a massive exploration? target that we can develop ourselves is this something that one of the majors you know the the, the big mining groups are going to want to walk in and, and also participate so until you know that that discovery is what triggers all of those sort of uh, all those possibilities so we're going to focus on that first we're going to focus on uh, you know getting the technical work done properly reducing the technical risk down to just an expiration risk you know, don't worry about the environment. Don't worry about geopolitical risk. Don't worry about somebody coming in and trying to take your, uh, you know, your license off you. What we're dealing with is purely: Are we good at what we do? Have we got quality assets? And you know, can we uh, fund the drilling programs? And the answer is yes, yes, and yes. Okay, well, that makes a lot of sense, Sean Bunn. That was fantastic. Thank you so much for putting Empire Metals in context for us. Uh, thanks for your time today. Thanks for taking us through your portfolio. Uh, all works very nicely. Uh, for more company information and free data about Emperor Metals, please go to the EEE pages on London Southeast and do follow London Southeast on Twitter. That's at London Southeast or register on London Southeast YouTube to receive alerts, to interviews just like this one. Uh, thanks for watching and do please stay safe.